We got a lot of fun stuff going on here. Looks like we are firing up the list bill. Let's take a look at what we got here. Oh, interesting. Oh, hey, what in the heck is this? Is that a singularity pump? What are we doing here? Hey, whoa, whoa. Hey, oh. we're over here today. All right, Dennis, what are we doing over here today? Oh, we're in the lab, aka the garage. This is where we record the podcast. And I have this doer here. I've had this for many, many years, and uh, it's broken. So what? It leaks. For the folks at home, is a doer. This is a kind of a cool looking guy. Let's take a closer look here. Okay. Well, here. Let's look at the bottom. This is an LD25, and it basically, is what you put liquid nitrogen into. And when I got it off eBay, it came with this withdrawal device, which I used once. And it's pretty darn awesome. It's kind of fancy. It looks fancy. Yeah, it's actually really freaking expensive too. Yeah, goodness. Sneak peek. There's not much to see down there. No. Oh, oh no, the door. So this door is. I don't know. It's got. It leaks, and um, when people say, "Hey, my door leaks," it's like, well, nitrogen isn't coming out, but it doesn't hold the cold. Okay. That's because it's a, it's a vacuum bottle, just like uh, those thermoses you can get and you put coffee in and they'll stay hot for like four days or whatever. This works the same way, except that it's supposed to hold the liquid nitrogen for uh, like two months. Through. Okay, so this is a pretty expensive toy here. How are we going to fix it? Uh, we're not. I thought we would cut it open to see what's inside. Won't it explode or something? Um, it shouldn't. It's I mean, a... it's got a vacuum. Oh, so wouldn't it implode or yeah, it, something? Well, it, yeah, it might implode. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I think what we're going to do is just uh, we'll slice here and slice there and then we'll see what's inside and we'll do it for science. Do it for science. I like that. Okay, so we're going to cut this thing open. Well, it's looking pretty pretty hefty. What are we going to cut that with? Uh, a sawzall. A what? A sawzall. Uh, okay, have that it, doesn't seem very smart. Uh, how would, haven't you used the saws all before? Well, yeah, to cut wood, I guess, but... Uh, well, I mean, it, it says it in the name, saws all. <laughs> it's a saws all. I mean, what we're going to do is use a metal cutting bit, and then we'll just jump, jump, and five minutes later, I think we'll be done. I'm, uh, I'm not so sure this is going to go well, but... All right, well, let's find out. Yeah. So, the question is, how many YouTubers would just go out and buy a brand new one of these because they don't know how to use it. I'm going to say every single one. This, well used. Um, I think it's cut apart a couple of houses already. All right, don't you need some kind of special blade or something? Oh yeah, we have this. Craftsman, lifetime warranty. Lifetime warranty. <laughs> well, that's, that's good, <laughs> we may need it. Yeah, but you know, basically this is a, um, I don't know how many teeth per inch it's, but it's a metal cutting blade. I mean, you have, Big beefy blades like this, right? Nice. This is for cutting logs and trees and stuff. Yeah, that looks closer to what I have used. Yeah, but you want to put this in here, and then there's a key at the very end. All right, kids. I feel like at some point we should say, "Don't try this at home." But you probably don't have a door and a sawzall at home, so. Oh, the sawzall. You've seen these before. Oh, you are gonna hurt yourself. No, no, no. It'll be fine. All right. Yeah, um, almost ready. Hey, whoa, where are you going? Uh, just give me one more second. Oh, uh, come on, it's not going to be that bad. Uh, that's what they all say the first time. I've seen those videos. I mean, I have my safety glasses on and everything. Yeah. That's what the internet says. All right, guys, here we go. Don't try this at home. Poor. And it says as trained a professional as you can be. <laughs> yeah, right here. All, all right, right, here we go.
Hmm, we could have got that whole thing off probably before we started. Um, possibly. Maybe. Well, there's a bit of a lip right there. I don't think that you've got enough off to do that. Oh boy. I stand corrupted for me. Screw down, man. Yeah, that was really on there. It has a little bit of a an ease right there. Nice. So it wrapped around on the neck. The neck. So what are we seeing here on the inside? I see like a, it looks like a green internal, and then aluminum on the external. Is that that's plastic? Oh, I was gonna say fiberglass, plastic, plastic, of some sort. Interesting. Well, that makes a lot of sense though that this would be plastic because that would be an insulator against um, the plug that normally goes in there. Sure enough. All right. Well, let's uh, let's get back at it. Keep cutting. Keep cutting. <clears throat> Theory being, this won't be quite so loud and a little bit easier for us to control. Hey, a Christmas present right there. All right, we're back in the garage. Here is the outer skin. Basically has this aluminum foil stuff inside, which is kind of fun. Pure aluminum. And then we have a sled or a sled shield oh. or something. 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 Inside the doer, we have more of this. It's like a triple. It's like okay, so we got some. Oh, it's like a dryer sheet. Dryer sheet. And then some foil. And it's just kind of layers on layers. So it's really. Like, kind of like a space aids insulation, so to speak. I really expected the inside container to be closer to the outsider container. Yeah, well, and that's why I was having so much trouble cutting it. Because so you get in there and it's like, well, it moved a little bit, and then all of a sudden I couldn't get the blade from this side into here. So, there it is, the inner core. Yeah, so if we look at the side, see how that is set up like that? Let me take a closer look. I'll zoom in on that here. Right, okay, so we're looking at it's a good three inches of uh, insulation, probably. No, that's more. That's like, well, here, let's get the measure and find out. All right, we're getting very scientific. Hey, you were right, three inches. About three inches. Three inches of insulation. I'm going to say we could count these layers. But they get pretty compressed next to the outside. So, oh here, I'm gonna zoom in on this or bring the camera down or something. Right, zoom in here. So this is. So this we... is where I cut here the first time, and then I cut again, and I didn't quite get it lined up. So let's peel that. Out. But look at how thick that is. Yeah, that's a lot. That's all aluminum. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, we have. This fibrous piece. And that's what we thought initially maybe the whole inside layer was made out of. So let's get, uh, we'll cut the camera and I'll just cut all this away so we can get a look at the bottom. And uh, we'll go from there. Well, it turns out we don't have to cut the bottom. We just cut the neck. Now, comes out. Alright, so this is the inside. So here is that multi-layer insulation. 
Oh, that's how they spun it around. That's kind of clever. Oh, and we lost all of our coal. It must have been a charcoal filter here. Oh, underneath the top ring, I bet. Right here. That makes sense. When we took this piece off, right here, let's see. Yep. Definitely. There's a filter. So obviously there was a moisture filter here. Charcoal is the vent, and it probably corresponded with that outside vent piece. So it's on the other side. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that's good. Cool. Yeah, more insulation. Uh, there's another vent. Insulation pack. And here's the inside door, which, as you can see, I made it all the way down to the bottom. But it's not terribly thick. There's all charcoal. It's pretty awesome. Must we finish cutting open, or you feel like we got everything we need to see here? Oh, I don't know. Do you think the internet would let us get away with not cutting the bottom? I think we got to cut the bottom. All right, well, we'll see if we can cut the bottom. All right, let's clean some of this up and cut the bottom. And now what are we going to do with it? Oh, hey, there we go. Well, I think this deserves a close-up. And there you have it. One fully dissected dwar. Slightly used. Slightly.